so we're in lockdown and uh, not a lot going on so I thought I'd do a couple of reviews of the bows that I have um, they won't be as awesome as some of the ones that you see uh, Multi Archery You Are The Great and uh, yeah it won't be anything like that uh, I'm nowhere near the archer and also I don't have the technical knowledge either but um, I'm just a box standard middle of the range archer who loves shooting. Uh, so here we go, the Scythian bow. It is a black mamba. It's uh, 36 pounds uh, at 28 inches. It's a good looking bow. Uh, I, I like the shape. I've had it for uh, a few months now. And obviously you have plenty of time to shoot it out here in the back garden. Um, it looks very nice when you first get it. Um, one thing that I did notice is you can see just at the top, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I thought that that was coming away, but whether or not it's just where it was filed down, uh, I'm not entirely sure. So uh, I'm just keeping an eye on that to stick a little bit of glue on it just in case. Uh, but there we go. So I've got a little bit, a little bit of leather just holding the, uh, the bow up. Uh, I'll string it up uh, we can have a look at it. Uh, its shape. Now obviously I string bows a slightly different way because uh, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, so I use back of my neck and a slightly reduced, give it a bit of a push away from me and there we go. So there it is. I don't know how he does that. I'm mean, with his wiggle, but it, to me, that is pretty stiff. Yeah. It's a good looking bow. I went for the yellow handle to go with the black. I thought it set it off nice. Um, it's 28 inches, feels nice. Uh, there's no stacking. Um, if you do get one of these, uh, just be mindful of the centre serving. Uh, I've started to learn to use thumb release uh, and it seems to unravel the centre serving. So whether or not you want to think about getting this redone, if you can do it yourself, fantastic. I tried once, I'm not very good, so uh, maybe I'll have another go, see if I can get a little bit better. Um, I don't have fingers of steel, uh, so I'm going to wear a glove. Um, I'm going to shoot it Mediterranean style because I'm yet to get any good at thumb release. I have tried it thumb release, but generally it only a few yards away from the target. Um, I'm waiting for a thumb ring to come. I uh, saw one of the leather ones from Bekir uh, in Turkey. He sent me one and when I get one of those, uh, I'll do another bit uh, with my thumb release. But up until this point, I'm just shooting Mediterranean uh, one of the things that I would have liked to have seen was maybe an arrow guard, as you can see, uh, just where the, the arrow passes. Uh, it's just rubbing it a little bit, just a little tiny thing, but maybe it's just my shooting. Um, so let's just have a look and see how it shoots. I'm going to come back way so that you can see the shape of the bow. Put the brakes on so that I don't disappear. Um, Wooden arrows, uh, 5 sixteenths, uh, couldn't tell you the grain of them. Uh, I get them matched for the arrow. I went down to Cal Archery, uh, Cal Edwards. She uh, watched me shoot with this and matched the arrows to it. And I'm, you know, I'm grateful to her that she does that. Pulls nice. A little bit of vibration, I must admit. I don't know if it would be better having string silencers on. I've never ever used them. But it certainly sends them down there at a good pace. I've got fairly long fetchings on, I've got four inches. And it tends to line up nicely. 
you know, I've been shooting this a while and I've really enjoyed it. It certainly, uh, it, it's become my go-to bow really. Uh, something at the end of the day, like now, where sun's setting, I've got the birds tweeting away. Just come out here, peace and quiet, shoot the bow, and it's very relaxing. Uh, try and clear the mind of all the worries. And you know, at the moment with lockdown, it is pretty stressful. Everyone's, everyone's feeling it. So why not find a way to relax, get yourself a little bit centered. And certainly for me, archery is one of those. So this is what I enjoy and I would recommend this bow. Uh, I have others, uh, but this is the one that I enjoy shooting at the end of the day. When it's nice and quiet. I just want to be nice and calm. Uh, hope you enjoy. Enjoy your shooting and stay safe.